hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today as you can see by the title we're gonna be in my happy planner and we're gonna be planning for this week which is march the well starting tomorrow to be march the 18th through the 24th so we're gonna go ahead go grab your planners and let's jump into it so if you're new here hey my name is cassandra and what i typically do is when i set up my planner is i give it um, a word for the week plus a theme and my words for the um year so far just being God just asking God for abundance and everything that I do and then I'll pick a theme and then I go through and for each day of the week I'll give like a subtitle or like a theme that I want to do that's relevant to like my theme for the whole week so pretty much it's just me saying this is what I want to focus on for the week and this is the word or task that I'm going to do for each day to accomplish that bigger goal so your planners and let's get started if you like these types of videos go ahead and hit that like and subscribe so this week of course um it's just more of getting back on track i was out last week me and my daughter had the flu so um uh, it's just um my theme is gonna be abundant and then plus i always do plus and no abundance plus pick it up and so what i'm gonna do is for each day of the week i'm gonna find something that i want to do to just jump start and jump on in there so i'm gonna turn y'all around and show y'all the planner as i write and yeah so let me turn y'all around and also i want to show y'all this um notebook so i found this at um dollar tree and i was like it matches my happy planner let me show y'all the front of my happy planner and I was like, yes, I have to get it. So I picked up this notebook. Um, so I'm going to be using this to just jot some things down. Um, not relevant to the planner, but I'm going to jump into this once I finish. So yeah, so the word for the week and theme is going to be abundance plus pick it up. So this is just more of a like just getting back on track, trying to put my life back together and just get back on track, y'all. So Monday, I'm going to um, start off by saying let's declutter. So I'm going to put declutter and uh, with declutter, I'm going to be very specific with my entire week. So with decluttering this first part, I'm going to look more into my um, handbag. So I'm going to be removing handbags out of the house. I'm going to be tr doing something that I've heard of. It's called calming the room. And essentially what it is, is you will pick an area of your house. And when I say Monday, I'm going to be doing declutter and I want to focus more on my handbags. And this is just, um, this is sort of like where I am in my head space and just trying to minimize the things that I really love. I love my bags. I, I don't, I won't say I get overwhelmed by them, but sometimes I look around and it'd be like, um, like I know I used to love that bag, but not so much like anymore. So I need to sort of like pick those bags, get them out the way so I can make room for the bags that I do love. So what I'm going to be doing is doing something that I heard, uh, I think it was me and my mom. It's called hushing the room or hushing your house. So you will pick an area. Um, it could be like your kitchen counter, your bathroom counter. It could be your bedroom dresser. It could be a drawer. So what you essentially want to do is go in there and you will remove everything out of that space. So let's say I was going to be doing my, let's just say I was going to be doing my bathroom counter. So I would go in my bathroom and I would take everything out of the bathroom, like every decor item, everything. It should literally look as if I'm moving out. There should be nothing in there. And you remove it for 24 hours. You just put everything that was in that room somewhere else. And essentially what you do is you go ahead and it's like a shock. You go ahead and sort of like show yourself that room as a blank slate. And then you slowly bring things in. And I think like essentially what will happen, or I think this is what pretty much happens with me is after bringing so many items in, you will start to sort of get like sort of anxious. And it's more like a, oh, I need to stop, stop, stop. And it sort of makes you sort of think like, what did you reach for first to bring back into that area? So with my purses, I'm going to declutter and I'm going to sort of go through that. I can't do it today because, I mean, I'm looking around and it's more of a emotional type thing. But tomorrow it'll be more of a task. Um, So I'm not just like just going to sell them. I'm going to go get a black garbage bag. I'm going to do this in the morning once I wake up. I'm just going to grab a black garbage bag. 
I'm going to go through the purses on my door. If it's not something I truly love or it's like, ooh, I love it, but I have to find an outfit for it, I'm going to put it in that garbage bag. I'm going to go through the handbags that are in the top of my closet. If it's something like, I love that purse, I used to care a lot, but not so much now, I'm just going to throw it in the black garbage bag. I'm then going to take that black garbage bag and I'm going to put it somewhere outside of my house. I have an actual, um, I got a shed, my little she shed. I'm just going to take the bag there. Um, I think that's where I'm going to put it. Or I may put it in my trunk or I may give it to my mom and like actually get it like out of the house. Um, like totally like away from the property. You like actually take it somewhere else. But I'm going to put everything in that bag and just see how I feel without it. Um, I'm going to do this. And if Tuesday, if I feel, you know, like it's all right. I'm not really missing it. Not really wanting it. Um, then I, the trash runs on Tuesday. The bags that I have, because I typically clean every Tuesday morning anyway, the bags I have, they, they aren't in a condition that needs to be just tossed so I could possibly either donate it or if my mom knows somebody that wants some, you know, feel free, sell it or, you know, give it to them or whatnot. But that's what I'm going to do. But I can't do that today. <laughs> I'm looking around and it's more of an emotional thing right now. And um, it, this may make sense to some, may not to others, but... Tomorrow is more of a task, and it's something that this is what you are going to do today. I'm not focusing on my clothes. I'm not going to get distracted and say, well, let's clean this first or that. Nope. I want you to go over to your purse. If it's not something you want, put it in that bag, or if it's not something you reach for, if it's something you have to, like, make yourself want, I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to part with it and just see how I feel. If it's too much and I need my purses back, okay, I just call my mama, bring my bag back. I just go back to her house, pick it up, put my stuff back, and we'll try something new. But I'm just going to try this technique of um, decluttering. But I'm going to do the hush the house. But I'm going to hush my handbag. So I hope that all that little jumbling made sense. But that's what I'm doing Monday. And I'm pretty much going to be using that hushing the house all throughout this week. And you're going to see what I'm talking about as I go to day two. So all right. So with Tuesday, we're going to stick with decluttering. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to tackle my closet i'm gonna pull everything out i want to essentially just be left with my scrubs and then sort of pull from a different area as if i'm shopping the things that i like and what i want to wear and put them in my closet as i reach for them versus me going to a closet full of things that i typically don't wear so it's more of a I'm going to go to a pretty much a blank closet and I'm going to fill it with the things that I reach for, if that makes sense. So this is shop in my closet. I'm just going to put shop my closet. And I'm just going to say, um, hush my clothes. And I understand what that means because this is literally taking everything out. And, you know, the same concept of that I'm going to be doing with my handbags. Um, Wednesday is my long day. Um, I'm not going to do anything as far as coming into the house and removing, like, big physical things. So, Wednesday, I'm going to use that for, and it's going to be, like, more of hushing my cell phone. So, this is going to be um, cell phone. So, taking off apps and games that I don't want on there. Going through photos. Um emails unsubscribing so cell phones we're going to be taking off and i'm necessarily looking at apps and photos so i know when i pick up my phone exactly what is it that i'm going through and that i'm doing i'm removing apps that i no longer use photos that i no longer use and then i'm gonna tackle my email and this is gonna be my personal email not work email and then unsubscribing from, from channels that I no longer watch. I get a lot of notifications from channels that I used to watch a lot. And just unsubscribing or, you know, just hushing those notifications. Um, because this is for my mental, my mental health. So that is um something I'm gonna do Wednesday. It's something I can do just sit. Thursday, we're gonna be going a little bit more into I want to say more of being within my house. I feel like I use these like 30 gallon bins. It's more of a, it's contained. So it's there, but I really want to go through the bins. So I'm going to say just that go through bins. So 
I know I have four bins in my house that I need to go through. And I'm going to say one, two, three, and four. And I will circle these as I go on. And you will see while I number it. Because in my head, it's just to help me sort of say, what did I get to? If Thursday come and I only tackled that first bin, that I'm just going to circle. I only did that one. I know there are four bins. Um, this may be me saying I'm going to a lot like 30 minutes when I get off work so I can spend two hours or I may say I just want to spend 15 minutes. I'm going to pull that bin out. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to toss what I don't want. If it's a bin that I just haven't been in period, I may not even need the bin all together. I may not even need the bin all together. And then Friday, um, if you've been following, I've always made that day romanticizing my day. So Friday is also going to be the same and I'm going to be romantic day so with this things that i love and i love my um press on nails i do my own things like that i love my handbags i love you know my candles i love my journals i want to go through just those particular things and make sure that whatever i have that brings me joy and that i just really love to do I want to make sure that those items are actually bringing value to my life. I don't want to just have like a whole bunch of planners. Like journals, like right now, this is the journal that I reach for and that I actually write in every day. And I really, really, really love this journal. This is what I um, use in the morning when I do my little, a little God time for mothers. So I go through starting January the 1st and every day I come in and I put the um, date and I start writing based on whatever my devotion is i got off track last week but i'm reading ahead so tomorrow i should be posting you know on time like the 18th but as the farthest i've gotten so far is march the 13th like i said i didn't read much last week um so i'm catching up but i really enjoy my journals this brings me so much comfort i got rid of a lot of journals i think i did a post a video back like all of my journals are different um, and i tossed away some journals that i no longer um was used i like oh this journal would be nice but i never reached for it so i got rid of it and i know something i said that's just so wasteful and i don't i do not want to waste money this video is not about you know just buying stuff and not like i'm not trying to waste money but what i do want to know i what i do want to do is if there's something in my life that i have i want it to bring value to me if it's something that just makes me feel really good i know a lot of times we go off things that are emotional but i really want to make sure like what i have like i have 13 journals but i can't write in 13 journals and but i'm constantly buying more i won't buy another journal until this one is full this one is particularly for my daily devotions but i have other journals let's just say i decide i want to start keeping track of like like every hobby that i do okay well i'm not gonna go buy another journal there are plenty that i've seen and i pick them up and then i tell myself cassandra put it down because you have journals at home already that you also love and that you fell in love with if you don't want them sell them donate them before you try to get another but i can't keep bringing things into this house saying like oh but i love this i love this i love you if i love it so much just use it, it has to be something that I'm using. Um, I really want it to, you know, have value. So I know that just sort of went all off the way. But with this being romantic for the day, I want to make sure like the things that I love, like my nails. There's been a couple things I purchased because it was like it was more influenced, like, oh, this is the nail that's sort of in. But I've grown over the time that I've been like doing my own nail. I know what nails and what brands I love. I know what colors and stuff i don't of course there are some things that i'm still trying but i want to go through that declutter and just sort of bring it back to what i love there are candles that i have there was a couple that i had throughout the house that i tossed when i did like a little cleaning on friday when i got in off work and i was like this candle was really cute or like i remember somebody mentioned this candle in the video like i paid for it i spent x y and z on it but i didn't like it get rid of it it's not something that i love i don't love burning i don't like the way it feels like it just i wasn't feeling it so get rid of it so romanticizing my day still gonna be cleaning but i'm just gonna be going through the things that i love so that when i reach for my nails my beans i'm not you know it's not shoved in my face all of these things like if somebody had to walk into my closet and get me a week worth of clothes, I want to know no matter what they picked out of my closet, 
I'm going to love it. It's going to fit me. Yeah, we have certain moods and certain days where it's like, I want to be in this call, that. But I, t- if, like, you know, just hypothetically speaking, if somebody had to come into my house and pick out me a handbag and pick me an outfit, no matter what handbag they pick me, it's like, I love this purse. There's nothing wrong with this purse. Like, I would wear this purse. You know, like, I want to love no matter what it is. Somebody had to just go get me some jewelry to put on. It doesn't matter what they went over there and picked up. I love every piece that I have. That's sort of where I'm going. So that's what I'm doing this Friday. I don't know about y'all. And then Saturday, you already know, it's all about being creative. And this is more of a, I use that creative more of an open space. Because I'm not really sure exactly what I want to do that day. But we shall see. Because as the week go on, it may be something I come across. Or something I want to try. Or something like that. So we're going to see. And then, of course, Sunday, it's going to be time to relax and unwind and just to reflect on the week. So we're just going to put relax and reflect. I didn't want it to go this long, but I'm just going to go really quickly and just show you like what I would put in the um blocks for the week so we know monday is going to be decluttered and with hand base and so monday that is my mindful monday i'm just going to go ahead and write that up there that's the video that i do and i'm just going to put hush handbags and i'm gonna put um one black bag and i'm gonna give myself a time limit so it's not in minutes i'm gonna set a timer 10 minutes and i'm gonna go through i'm gonna tackle what's on my door and i'm gonna tackle what's in my closet i'm gonna pull out the purses that i'm just not sure about not not don't really know and i'm just gonna put them in that bag and then i'm gonna walk away from it this is gonna be quick it's gonna be something that i'm not gonna think about and i'm gonna put that bag somewhere else outside of this house tuesday is gonna be shopping my closet so this is where i want to hush my clothes I'm going to say scrubs only. Add clothes as I need them. So, I've never done this, but we're just going to try it. I'm just going to see how it works. Um, So, my clothes, I'm going to just put them all probably in my daughter's room. So, throughout the week, she's typically in here with me. She's not sleeping in there right now. So, I'm just going to get all of my clothes. I'm going to just take them all in there, lay them all across her bed. And as I need something, I'll go in there and get it. And if I want it, I'll wear it, wash it. And throughout the week, you know, we're washing clothes two or three times a week. I'll hang it up as we go. I'm only doing this for the things that are in my closet. If there is something that I need in the closet. Um, I'm going to work majority of the time. So, um... It may be even beneficial for me today to just go ahead and remove everything out the closet, only put my scrubs, and then as the weekends go, if I need clothes, just sort of go to her room and just pick out what I need and put them in there, you know, according. But we'll see. I'll decide if that's something I'm going to start today or if I'm just going to jump straight into that on Tuesday. So Wednesday is all about hushing the phone. So I'm going to be, um, I'm going to say delete apps old photos blurry y'all i don't know about y'all but i have a lot of screenshots in my phone i'm gonna delete those i'm gonna go through my email and i'm going to unsubscribe and i'm gonna unsubscribe from channels that i don't need um and like hushing the notification a couple of people that i really love and if they post something i want it but i have so many notifications coming through y'all it is ridiculous i that needs to stop so i'm gonna um do that on wednesday thursday is gonna be about going through my bins and i'm gonna say tackle bin there are four bins in my house i'm gonna put one two three four so i have master me i have master bay that's a being he has and i have a being in my living room and i have a being in the hallway 
So I'm going to tackle those bins. I'm going to go through them. If it's something I don't need torn, uh, something that's just not being used, not going to use, I'm holding it for something, whatever the reason may be, we're going to get to that. We need to try to minimize these bins, whether that's getting rid of the entire bin or just going through. If I open a bin, decide everything in there I need, at least I went through it. But the fact that I'm sitting here and I can't tell you what's in that bin of mine, I want to say it may be summer clothes, but I have no clue. I have um some things I won't wear again. I'm going to have to just go through that and, you know, figure that out. Friday is just going to be um romantic. I'm just going to say romantic attack. So I want to go through and declutter with my nails. I want to just do another run through with my journals. Um, my handbags. This is going to be more of a tackle from Monday. So either if I've went all week and I ain't really worrying about them, thinking about them, we're just going to not go into that bag. I'm not going to revisit it. Just leave it where it is. Um, these are the main things that I love. So my journals, my nails, my handbags. I do um, need to go through my fabric, but I'm not going to put that on there. That needs a whole week for itself. So I'm not going to put um, that necessarily in there. And then, of course, Saturday is just going to be about being creative. This um, could stem from anything that I done that week but i do want to read something new so i'm gonna say read something new and i want whatever i read to be related to the yeah i've been loving these decluttering videos and i've been loving like self growth videos as well but y'all i really want to do something about decluttering or something about nannies i don't know i just i just want to watch something about some nannies or something about decluttering so we're going to go there. And then, of course, Sunday is going to be all about relaxing and rewinding and reflect. And then we and this right here to me is relaxing. This may sound like work to y'all, but I'm telling you, it's something about planning and just sort of setting, you know, like the tone for the week. This may not be um, this is subject to change. This could very well change. I am a mama. Life happens. But to just sit down and say, this is what I plan to do. This is sort of like what I want to do. If I get up and decide I want to tackle my beans on Tuesday and switch it and do my clothes, if that's what it comes to, then, I, then I'll do that. But I hope that y'all have enjoyed this plan the week with me for March, the week of the 18th through the 24th. And I will see y'all in my next one. Um, I really look forward to this week, y'all. I'm excited. Um, I hope y'all are excited too y'all so i hope y'all have enjoyed today's video planning for the week of march the 18th through the what this weekend you know the 18th through the 24th um i really like these types of videos i really like sitting here and just doing this, this is something i'm gonna do anyway every week um and i figure why not record it and just show it with you all if y'all like these type of videos let me know down in the comments below i love to hear like how y'all plan for y'all weeks and just things that y'all do to just stay sane and things to just you know just keep you mentally you know just built up so y'all remember stay prayed up remember to be blessed be sweet and be you and i'll see y'all on my next video bye y'all